What's up, YouTube? I'm Cordy. We're going to be talking about Premium Pack 16 uh, for Japan and the new cards that are being released in there uh, for you guys. First off is a Chronomaly Monster. Uh, Chronomaly Gordius Unite. Um, it is a level 3. Uh, this card's normal summon. You can special summon one Chronomaly Monster from your hand. This card's level becomes the same level as that target. Um, further support to the archetype. Uh, they're giving them what I would say is probably one of the best things that they can get. You have to remember they currently have a level modifier, a Stratos, um, and now they have the ability to special summon from the hand. So they finally achieved a Bogart Knight status. Uh, and with this, the deck becomes more and more crucial uh, to setting up turn one combo pieces. This card is very good for what it is. Um, personally though, um, I don't know how many I'd want to play in the deck. I do want to test it out a little bit more. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to Gordius Unite. Next one is Gimmick Puppet Humpty Dumpty. I gotta make sure I read that right. Alright, this card's normal summoned or special summoned. You can special summon one gimmick monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Humpty Dumpty once per turn. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I like the ability just to get level 8s out of your hand uh, for the Gimmick Puppet archetype. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have Gimmick Puppet Shadow Feeler. Um, cannot be destroyed by battle. This looks like a human centipede. Like, I'm sorry to say, like, looks just like human centipede. I think something went wrong, though. Uh, when you take battle damage from a direct attack, while this card is in, a, in your graveyard, show some of this card from your graveyard and face up attack position. And if you do, you take 1,000 damage. Uh, you can only use the effect of Shadow Feeler uh, once per turn. And the XYZ, oh, when this card is XYZ material sent to the graveyard, banish it. Uh, so they finally took care of the claws. Um, you know, they don't need to keep reusing this. Um, very interesting card um, for what it is. I feel like this card's going to see some play. Next up is uh, Silent Wababe Gong. Okay. During your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field. This card is special summoned by this effect. This card's controller draws one card. Also, this card's controller opponent gains 2,000 life points. You can only use the effect of Silent Wababe once per turn, uh, and the hand size limit of this card's controller becomes 3. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm kind of curious to know what the rulings are going to be on this card. Um, but for a really hefty cost, it's a really interesting card. Um, next up is the Swift Hippo. Yeah, it's a, that's that's definitely a hippo. You can draw something this card from your hand. When you do, your opponent can target one level 4 monster in the graveyard. Your opponent starts some ends at target. Uh, you can only switch someone. Okay, so you basically get to beam it out of your hand, and your opponent gets to special summon one as well. Uh, I really don't like that card. I'm sure it's important. So you guys all know what one the Underworld Dragon does. Uh, next up, the level 8 Syngro, uh, BL's King of Dragons. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects when you take battle damage from a battle involving this card and your opponent's card effect. This card gains attack equal to that amount. Um, Alright. So, we now have a level 8 Synchro that is 3,000 that cannot be destroyed. Oh, it's a Dark Tuner. Eh, uh, just for their Blackwing support. But still, like, that's pretty good for what it is. Uh, next up, Black Feather Dragon. I believe this is... I want to say a remake, remake of this card. Actually, no. What's return when you take damage? Send the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. Um, if there were any monsters sent to the graveyard, this card gains 400 attack. Okay, so this is the manga version of the card. Interesting. Uh, Chronomaly Chaos Atlantis. Um, Chaos number 15 gimmick serial killer. And yeah, that name is going to get changed. Um, once return, you can detach from the from the start. Target one card your opponent controls and destroys it. And if the card, this card destroyed was a monster inflict damage to your opponent, equal that monster's attack. Alright, cool. Ring of Destruction. That's still kind of good. Uh, gimmick Puppet Double Strings. Three level nines. I must card a special summon. Destroy all monsters with string counters, and if you do, draw one card. Then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the monsters destroyed with the highest original attack. Once per turn, you detach one material from this card uh, to put one string counter face up on your opponent's cards. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, definitely not good, but I mean, it's interesting. Next up, Gimmick Leo Puppet of Disaster. Uh, must be such summoned by a ring up magic spell card uh, that targeted number 88 Gimmick Puppet of Leo and cannot be switched by other ways. This card on the field cannot be targeted by your opponent's cards. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card to inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. During your end phase, your opponent, if your opponent's life points are 2,000 or lower, this card has no XYZ materials. This card's controller wins the duel. Huh. That's a pretty cool new win condition. 
Um, definitely looking forward to seeing um, the challenges and stuff that you can do with this. Next up is a Dyson Sphere Chaos number. Three level 10 monsters. If this card battles an opponent's monster, you can attach that monster to this card to explosive material without damage calculation. Once per turn, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each explosive material attached to this card. And if this card has Dyson Sphere, you can detach any number of materials from this card to inflict 800 damage to your opponent. Um, okay. I mean, I'll give it to them. It's 3600, 3200. Um, pretty cool uh, for a game finisher. I mean, I really don't know what else you would want to do with this card. Next up, looks like it's number 13, Kane Scene. Two level 1 monsters. Once per turn during either player's turn, detach one material from this card. Change all monsters your opponent controls to face up attack position. And if possible, they all must attack this card during this turn. Uh, if you control a number 31, Absol Fiend, this card gains this effect. If this card has exclusive materials, it cannot be destroyed by battle. All damage inflicted to you from your opponent's attacking monsters. As inflicted your opponent instead. Alright. Um, Alright, let's see what this guy does. Uh, number 31, Abel's Fiend. Once returned during either player's turn, you can change all monsters your opponent controls face up attack position, and they must attack this card. During this turn, if you control number 13, uh, it gains the following effects. The card has X-Wiz Mitchell, cannot be struck by battle card effects, and all battle damage inflicted to you from your opponent's attacking monsters inflicted to your opponent instead. Um, that's a cute little combination. I actually kind of like that. That level 1 support, that's cool. That's actually a really interesting lock. Uh, next up is number 82. Two level 4 monsters. When you control a face-up spell card, this card cannot be targeted for an attack. Go go dimensional fissure. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. This card can attack your opponent life points directly, but all other monsters cannot attack during this turn. Ah, that's actually pretty interesting. I see why that card is good. Uh, just like, board in dimensional fissure, go go. Next up is the Triage Levia. I read three level three monsters. Monsters card destroys by battles banished. It's got 1800 attack. All right. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one face up monster in the field. That monster is 800 attack and its effects are negated. I'm kind of disappointed that this takes three level threes to make, but it's a very good card. I kind of wish that it was a little bit easier to make. Rank up Magic Agent Chaos Force. Target one rank five or higher XYZ monster you control. Special summon from your extra deck one number C that is one rank higher by using that material. Special summon monster treated as an XYZ summon. XYZ materials transfer. Uh, when you summon a monster, you can add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, you can only use the effect of this once per turn. That's pretty good. I'm definitely looking forward to messing around with some of the stuff for fun decks. Uh, we all know what Gaga Ga Academy does. Recruit, do stuff. And then Ghost of Grudge. If your opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, the deck of all monsters your opponent controls becomes zero. Well, ain't that. That's pretty good. I do like that. So, overall, mm, not the best cards we're getting, but you know, uh, for general support uh, and stuff that we did need to be released, um, this set definitely does what it needs to do. So, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this stuff in the comment section down below. Human centipede. <laughs> and uh, tell me what you guys think. And I'm out, guys.